A fifth day of demonstrations outside the Eagle Rock home of embattled L.A. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon, who says he's not going anywhere, which has been heard on that leaked racist audio tape nearly two weeks ago. Those protesters say they're not going anywhere either until DeLeon resigns. Fox 11's Phil Schumann is live in Studio City with the latest on the scandal. And also, Phil, you have a preview of tonight's L.A. in Crisis Town Hall. It's right here at 6 o'clock on Fox 11. Phil? That's right, and we expect to be joined by a lively, motivated crowd. You see the seats are set up behind me. We are in the San Fernando Valley, as you mentioned, Alex and Christine, of course, a part of the city that is very active politically and have been following this scandal since it broke back on October 9th. Let's show you some video from earlier this morning. As we've been reporting, protesters uh, are going to remain outside Kevin De Leon's Eagle Rock home. They say they'll remain there, as we've been telling you, since both De until both De Leon and his colleague Gil Cedillo resign. It's a peaceful group. They're in a residential neighborhood with the cooperation of the neighbors. And again, they say that there is no compromise to their position. It's very shameful that that's the choice that he's made, and it shows someone who doesn't really value or think highly of the community that only cares about his own self-image and his own self-importance. If he really cared about healing and trying to help people heal, he'd respect the wishes of those who he has hurt, and he would resign. Well, we know there's no compromise from that group. We also know from Kevin DeLeon's uh, own words that he will not be resigning. He broke about 10 days of silence. You saw some of the video there with a couple of television interviews, one of which with uh, Univision. This is part of what De Leon had to say in Spanish with subtitles. ¿Usted no piensa renunciar? No. No eh, renunciaré porque hay mucho trabajo por encima. Hay mucho trabajo que tenemos que eh, enfrentar. La crisis que está llevando a cabo en el distrito las infecciones, el desempleo, eh, la amenaza de, del el moratorio, del desalojo, eh, la crisis humanitaria de los indigentes. Well, what about Mike Bonin's response? Of course, it was his adopted African-American son who was the target of much of the comment from Nuri Martinez and others. Kevin DeLeon's comments are gaslighting of the highest order, or another manipulating. He cannot be part of the healing as long as he refuses to resign. His stubborn refusal to do what everyone else knows is necessary is deepening the wound he has inflicted on Los Angeles. That is the statement from outgoing Councilman Mike Bonin, who we anticipate will be joining us live uh, in the town hall in the six o'clock hour. Some of the most dramatic moments of the past uh, two weeks, Alex and Christine, you remember, where Mike Bonin was Mike Bonin's impassioned speech uh, that first day in the city council after this uh, scandal came to light, in which in tears for almost 15 minutes he yelled everyone spellbound talking about the impact this has had on him and his family. So the question now, given the fact that De Leon and Cedillo both seem to be digging in, is how we try to move forward and use that word heal that everybody is talking about. Alex, Christine.